mental breakdown. <laughs> so exciting and so scary at the same time. It's happening. I'm so nervous. We're building a home Let's office. Go. Okay. Listen, I'm gonna call it the dungeon, the bunker, but it's actually gonna be really cute, I hope. I haven't been able to see it yet, but my fiance keeps telling me, eh, it's progress. Mm -hmm. All I hear every day is like a fucking jackhammer, and I'm like, there's no reason for it to be that loud, because all you guys are doing, or all you should be doing, is painting? No? I mean, I don't know. I don't really know what's going on. I just told him this is kind of like the vibe that I want. I showed him Pinterest boards of um, just, you know, casual offices like the Google headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> Silicon Valley. <laughs> Tech headquarter. So we did think about getting like an actual office. Um, everybody in my life was like, you actually do need a, a real commercial space, like an office. And then I was like, mm, no, I don't because I don't leave my house. So if that's the case, I would never be around. Like you would never see me, which would defeat the whole purpose of like in-person interactions, training, hiring, all of that. So uh, we're doing it in the basement. It's gonna be, be it's gonna be beautiful, right? Is yeah. Gonna, okay, yeah. is it gonna oh, yeah. look like the Pinterest photos? Bruh. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> okay, that is not the confident voice that I was expecting. If you guys have been following us on Instagram or if you've been following the Rotten Mango channel, we've been hiring. So originally, since like the past year, we've been hiring for researchers from really anywhere, just like remote researchers. And then now we've started building our in-person RM team and I'm really excited like really nervous too i don't know which emotion is stronger if i'm gonna be honest with you but you know what i do know is that it's been so freaking loud there's been so much going on every single day in this place like tiffany's got a chinese channel we're like running around there's 25 million freaking things happening at the same time like 25,000 people are in and out of this house on a daily basis and you know what that's really hard for that's really hard to focus on my work, okay? And so the only thing that's been keeping me sane are my Raycon earbuds. Raycons have noise isolation features. So whenever I need to focus on my work, this is so helpful. Picture your hair wash day. Your hair ends up drying perfectly. You've had the best sleep of your life. You wash your hair, it dries perfectly. It's not frizzy, it's beautiful, it's sleek. It looks shiny and glossy. Your skin is glowing. That one pimple that you thought was gonna come out, it ended up disappearing. It didn't come out. It almost feels like everything has fallen perfectly into place. That is what it feels like to use Raycon earbuds. They are literally engineered to be the perfect fit for the human ear. No matter how long you leave them in there, they do not hurt your ears. I've slept with them on. I will like move around in my bed while I'm watching something or listening to music and I will fall asleep and they never hurt my ears because there is nothing worse than that feeling of your ears being sore after wearing earbuds for long periods of time. And and that's because Raycons have these optimized gel tips that are designed to fit super comfortably in your ears, but they're also designed to stay there. Recently, I've been doing these like spontaneous um, hype parties by myself in the middle of the day to hype myself up where I will play like Le Seraphim and just try to hype it out. And like no matter how much I shake my head or attempt to shake my butt, Raycons will not fall out. And I'm always the type of person who always forgets to charge my devices, but Raycon gives me 30 two hour battery life. The battery life is great for when you finally get your butt off the couch and you need to start doing chores or start being productive. Just pop them in your ear, play a podcast, watch a movie, listen to music, and I'll just leave my phone wherever because with Raycons, I don't need my phone to turn up the volume or down or press play or press pause or play the next song. All those features are built into my Raycon earbuds. You can even answer and end calls with your Raycons. The best part is Raycons come at half the price of other premium audio brands and it's even more affordable if you use my link. So click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash mango to get 20% off your Raycon purchase plus free shipping. That's buyraycon.com raycon.com slash mango to get 20% off your Raycon purchase plus free shipping. And thank you Raycon for sponsoring today's video and let's get into it. That's so cute. Oh, that's very nice. 
I don't know if you guys remember this lamp and these couch cushions from LA. The whole setup is back. So these are actually gonna go, we're gonna move this table and two chair set up in the corner. I'm gonna put that neon sign up there, create like a little cozy nook. Oh, that's so good. Isn't that so good, Tiffany? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, we have a little kitchenary area right next to this whole space. Kitchenary, kitchenary, kitchenary area. These are a lot of the leftover stuff from Stephanie's old mukbang stuff, like little pots and pans and big trays and things like that. We have a little fridge here, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace it with all the things that we can fill up for everyone to use. So we're gonna fill up with different snacks and then we're gonna get some food and snacks, fill up the fridge. This is the fridge dumplings. Oh yeah. Was that satisfying? Oh yeah. Is that ASMR? Here's a mini freezer. So here's the story behind this little thing. This was 2020 in LA when the pandemic happened. We were freaking out. So we went out there and got one of these little freezers and we stuff a bunch of emergency meals in there. We got the, this in the peak of panic time. This was gonna save our life. It's still here. Reminder of 2020. Today's mission, we have a technician coming to install some wall sconces on the wall. We're gonna uh, do the wiring for a track light here, put a whiteboard right over here, replace the whole chandelier. Right now, the whole vibe in this area is very, very dim and it's kind of sad. Like we were talking about it, Andy was like, you know, I don't want to be here. I want to be over there. But I thought maybe once we switch up the lighting, this area could be very, very cozy. So it's night time, actually. People are sleeping already. Are you ready? Yes. Ready? Hey. Oh. oh, look. <gasps> what do you think? And then, boom. Oh, oh that's nice. That's, that's good, good, right? Because yeah. this light is very yellow, and then the white one kind of balance out perfectly. Yeah. We're missing light bulbs. What do you think of the wall, wall sconces? Right now, it's a little awkward looking. And like yeah, so these are the ones that's like, currently ah. in here. You see how the lights is super close to the wall? Mm -hmm. So it reflects really nicely. Why don't you just swap them out? Save money. Oh, it's genius. Just swap them Wait, out. Wait, that's for, a little bit smart. For exactly. Just swap them out. What? Holy shit. Big brain. <laughs> wow, this is a good brain. Oh. Wow. Oh. oh my god, you haven't seen the neon sign yet. Oh, you haven't seen this whole section? Oh my god, the white So board. much is going on, huh? So what do you think of this table? I love it. We so, turn Andy, put it together. Yes. So we've been like yeah. working hard down here for the last couple of days and Stephanie been sheltered away and she hasn't seen any of the yeah. update. What do you think? It's coming together, right? I'm so excited for that whiteboard. You have no idea. What, what are you going to write on there? <laughs> Top secret stuff. Top secret stuff. Like <laughs> I'll make prediction. You're not going to touch it, okay? <laughs> you're going to write it on one time and then you're going to try to erase it and you'll be like, man, man that's too much work. We're going to trade Listen, I'm kind of excited and nervous at the same time. I'm trying to stock up the downstairs basement, fridge, freezer, everything with energy drinks, snacks, coffee, anything that we might need while we're in the throes of research. So I think I'm going to order all the energy drinks, cold brew, concentrate, all the individually packed snacks from Target. And then that will probably deliver tomorrow. But Trader Joe's doesn't deliver. And I feel like it'd be nice to stock up the entire freezer with those shallow bows, those frozen soup dumplings. Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's favorite is being recalled. It is recalling over 60,000 pounds of its steamed chicken dumplings. Thousand of these steamed chicken soup dumplings because they could have plastic in them. Things are being pulled from the shelf. Soup dumplings, soup dump, 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 Get it all actually. Let's just clear it. Soup dumplings? Because listen, I'll be that up every single day. I think I could eat five packs of those on a daily Are basis. Kidding? Are you kidding? Stephanie! I didn't know you were here! Stephanie has not seen the room yet. Oh my god! Oh my god, she's like a construction queen! Whoa! 
What do you think? Whoa! This is crazy! The lights, the whiteboard. This is a vibe. Welcome. This is like a classroom. Oh. Oh. <laughs> bada bean, bada boom. Oh, yeah. Bada bean, bada boom. I feel like a professor. Stand here. <laughs> yes, yes, Didi. May I use the restroom? No, Didi, you oh. just went. I heard you shit. Please sit your ass down. Should we test this? Go inside and like take a fat dump. So we, we sealed up the door. Go ahead. Are you actually shitting? Andy, don't actually shit. Oh man, we lost him. <laughs> oh, man. We lost the man. Five more minutes? Okay, so we are about to go stock up our shelves here. It's empty right now. In the fridge, empty, freezing. Oh, we already got some dumplings. Oh, these are good. This is the medicine cabinet that Stephanie prepped. Tyler, now, uh, Avia, what are you trying to do to yeah. these people? I'm gonna hang these on the bathroom wall, and I'm gonna put floss tampons, because we're a mainly woman-run business. <laughs> to me, so... <laughs> oh, I got mini toothpaste and toothbrushes. Oh, yeah. I got mouthwash with a little mouthwash cups. Haven't driven a vehicle in months. Guys, you're in for a trip. Buckle, Buckle in. in. It's about to get crazy, honey. Do you trust me with your life? Does everybody consent to put your life in my hands? A little dramatic, huh? <laughs> Gigi, the intern's first time at Trader Joe's. We're sprinting because it's so freaking cold. Um, who's on cart duty? I got it. <laughs> he just ran into the cup the way I saw your forehead make contact with the, the glass wall. You distracted wall. me. I was like, oh my god, that's... Is that my name? Is that Stephanie? <laughs> and I go bonk. Oh my god, these are so cute, no? Oh my gosh, should we get some of these? How much are these? Shrimp pouches. Can you get a few of those? Oh, yeah. <gasps> we need to get some of these. Snack packs. Andy, what, what are you looking for? Mac <laughs> You're going to make the macaroons yourself? He says that he always makes the gifts himself with his bare hands. Please, guys, he's desperate. Leave a comment. Garlic naan crackers? Honey, remember? I used to be obsessed with this garlic naan. They made a cracker version. Okay. Okay, this man is not entertained at Trader Joe's. He's not a grocery shopper. He's the party pooper. Honey, we gotta get a bunch of these. Like a lot. Clear the shelf. <laughs> no, I'm serious. <laughs> Maybe more. Maybe more? <laughs> oh my god. Honey, do you hear him? He's gonna eat through like five of these. Get it all actually. Let's just clear it. That's a lot. That's it. That's absurd. <laughs> That's one meal for I Andy. Think, yeah. <laughs> Guys, this is Chinese man approved. The pot stickers. I know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. Loading up. Oh my look, how many of these we got. Oh my look. She's really excited for these, honey. My mom. Your yeah. mom too? Bro, I'm telling you we should have cleared it because this is gonna be gone in like two days by oh. our family, okay? This is some of my older mukbang stuff. I'm gonna borrow this and I'm gonna put the trail mixes in here. <laughs> This is gonna be the convenience store. I'm probably gonna move the cups down or move them over there. I have a bunch of food coming tomorrow and then everybody comes the day after so I have one day and then I gotta put all the beverages in the fridge. <gasps> so much I gotta do. Okay. <gasps> hey, that looks so easy. <laughs> um, how you guys doing? Andy's not even touching the couch. <laughs> Okay. No. You weren't even making contact with the couch, sir. Sir. I just see it's time to get up, okay? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Tiger. Good boy. You're such a good boy. So dominant. I'm so excited to bring this downstairs. Are you guys ready? Whoa. What do you think? Whoa. It's beautiful. And guys, look. 
I got a tea set for everyone. Whoa. Whoa. Thank Whoa. you. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of tea is it? It's a very good tea. Let's <laughs> fucking go. I'm just doing um, one for the vlog. I'm for doing vlog. one trip for the vlog, and then I'm going to go, honey, can you help me? Because there's Bro. so much stuff up there. That's also, a lot. Guess what I got? I'm gonna make a care package for everyone. So I got everybody a Kindle. And That's then I got cute. Red Bull. So I asked the people that we are currently already existing working with and I asked for a whole menu of items they wanted. Andy the intern is like, okay, I think we should do sugar-free Red Bull and some protein shakes. And I was like, bro, uh, you're such a bro, I can't even. But uh, sugar-free Red Bull, let's stock the fridge. I also got a million of these, because you know, what's work without hot Cheetos? Here are some <laughs> more <laughs> snacks. This is nothing, you're gonna- We got snacks, on snacks. On snacks. On snacks, oh. Oh my God, <laughs> Tiffany. Honey, what is going on? Oh. This is a little excessive. <laughs> Honey, uh, who are you feeding? It's like three people. <laughs> No, Bro, and then we have like, no. look at how much trial mix we got. Because it's been my dream. Okay, that's too much though. That's literally. Honey, honey, I'm doing a speech. It's been my dream to have a team, to have the dream team and an office space, aka my basement. I want everyone to be happy here. <laughs> so. Thank you for. That's. I'm gonna, okay. um, you wanna come upstairs and help me, honey? There's <laughs> more? There's more! Tiffany said, ooh, cereal! <laughs> I got a bunch of yogurts, which I'm excited about. Look at this, we got Hot Pockets, Uncrustables, and then I have already stuffed it with some Trader Joe's stuff, so <laughs> here we are. Okay, okay, I don't know how I'm doing this. <laughs> this is not even a convenience store at this point. This is literally a supermarket. Cheese. Oh, there's a cake. I got these. These are my favorites. I'm so excited. How cute. How, How adorable. adorable. And then yogurts. These are the best Chobani flips. They're basically dessert. I got the key lime flavor and the s'mores flavor. Oh, I got a lot of the s'mores flavor. And more of the key. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Oma just came down and she just saw I the know. situation. I know. She was telling me about a food budget. Okay. She said, my obnoxious little daughter did this again, didn't she? Yes, she did. Okay, so this is the before. I'm gonna work my movie magic. And this is the after. Andrew and Stephanie's dad and Cindy and the kids are all here. I'm gonna set, make it look a little cuter so they can see the full glory. Wait, don't come down yet. Hold on, hold on. I gotta turn on, turn on this light. I'm gonna turn on this moon. Turn on this moon. Let me turn off the lights. What do you think, Andrew? It's a conference room? Yes! The best part, the best part. Look at this part. Look at the snack bar. Oh. <laughs> she said caca. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, you got cheetos. Oh my god. Oh my god, Rainbow. Are you like goldfish? Wow. Since they're eating our work food, it's time to clock in, kiddos. Go do some computer work. Let's go. Look at Sophie with the moon. She's so cute. She thinks it's a rocking chair. Oh. <laughs> One, please. One, please. Oh. Thank you. Can I get one more, please? Please. Oh, thank you. No, I'm gonna so kind. One more, please. Let's see how many she will give. Okay, so far three. Oh, oh, thank you. One more, please. Oh, thank you. Please, please, one, please. Thank you. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> Bro, it's like earthquake, 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 earthquake. Bro, she was not this crazy in New York. She was such a polite little girl. Right now, demon child. Apparently, Sophie's feeding Mia right now. Sophie's about to feed Mia again. Oh. 
Just kidding. That's a lot of rice. That's a lot of rice. Yeah. Ah. She said, oh. oh. <laughs> I have to have it. Hey guys. I'm in the bedroom right now. And honey, can you please sit down? I would like some emotional support. Let me tell you what's going on right now. I'm gonna cry. I'm literally gonna cry. I got so excited. You guys saw that I ordered those Kindles. I got all those snacks. I ordered a bunch of other things that I was gonna group together, right? So I got these journals that everyone was gonna use. I got some very special Japanese pens. I got slippers. I got these little baskets that I was gonna put it into and then I was gonna wrap it with this rope because, you know, rope, like I'm gonna tell you guys. But you get it, right? You get the picture, you get the vision. Do you see the vision? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I check on Amazon because I'm like, um, hello, where are my fuzzy slippers for everybody? I want them to have nice little toasty toes tomorrow, wiggling them digits around. I want them to like feel the fluff of the slippers, okay? I check, it says delivered. So I'm like, oh my God, I go to the back door. I open it up, it's cold. I get a whiff of cold air, nothing. So I'm like, that's fine. Sometimes I put it at the front door. So I run to the front door, I open it up. I get a whiff of cold, no package. So I'm like, mm, Amazon, you little lying asshole. I go to Amazon, it's sitting in our mail room in New York. Come on, honey, you had one job. Mm, I'm so stressed out. What are they gonna do? Just like cold toes? Cold toes. I mean, I have other slippers for them to wear, but it's not gonna be matching cute fuzzy slippers. Nor are they gonna have their journals. So what do I do? I have nothing to wrap in rope except for, I don't know, what's, what's left, left of my, my dignity. dignity. So. I'm kind of nervous though. They're starting to come tomorrow and I've never done this before. I think it's a different experience when you work with people. I've worked for someone before. I've never worked closely with someone like at this scale. I feel so nervous. I've been listening to, you're gonna die. I'm turning into an alpha male. I've been listening to leadership podcasts. Cause I'm like, I don't think I have that. Yes, I listen to one podcast. Definitely don't have that. I need some female leaders. I need these females to pick up a microphone and tell me about leadership because these male leadership people are like, you fucking just scream in their face and you fucking get it done. And I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'm so nervous. I'm really excited for everyone to come. I just have a lot of nerves. I don't think that I'm a, I don't know. I don't think I'm a, I don't think I'm, I don't know. You got, you got it. Because okay. it's, you know, I want to be friends with them. But at the same time, I need to keep it professional. But then, like, I don't know how to stop myself. I want to be friends with people. I have so many emotions right now, and I'm just going to talk it out. And this might not even see the light of day, right? But recently, Rotten Mango has been growing exponentially at a rate that is scary. Scary. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the first word. It's just scary. I would have never expected anything like this. My sister the other day, she called me, and she was like, hey. Be honest with me. And I was like, why? Are you buying viewers? And I was like, what? He's like, I don't know. Your Rotten Mango channel's blowing up. And I was like, I know. I'm stressed out. Okay, I'm not stressed out. That makes it sound like I'm complaining. I'm not complaining in a million years. I'm so grateful. Like the numbers, they don't even make sense in my head. And I, I hope it never makes sense because I feel like the day that the numbers become normalized, like that's a dangerous day. It's just every day I'm just shocked that there's so many of you engaging with these videos, listening, feeling all these emotions for these stories and like, it's like the community there also. Just so many incredible genuine people and like the way that they discuss different things with so much love and respect for everyone is, I don't, I'm Stephanie so. Be, Stephanie be reading comments and <laughs> bawling. <laughs> yeah. He's gotten to the point where he's like, enough, like I can't comfort you again, okay? You're doing great, sweetie, okay? We get it, we get it. This is the drive-through you need to order. I'm so, so thankful and I don't even want to say that often because I don't know, it's like such an influencer thing. Like, guys, I'm so thankful for everything. I try not to, but genuinely from the bottom of my heart, I'm at a loss for words. Like, I don't even, I don't even know what to say. With that though, with that, I really want to do everything right. I want to do everything as best as possible to the best of my abilities. There's so many things that I want to do that you'll see soon, but there's a lot of things that I want to do to like give back and all of these things. And it's just because I want to do so many things and I want to do it right, it's important for us to have a really good team of people that we trust 
and that we can work well together with and that makes me so excited and so nervous like so nervous I feel like I've reached adulthood recently I was thinking about that the other day because I feel like even just a few years ago there were people where I'm like okay yeah I gotta support my mother I gotta support my father these these people are getting old you know okay and so there's pressure with that I gotta I gotta fend for myself out here I gotta support myself and all these things and there is an interesting pressure and excitement and a sense of response like deep responsibility that I feel with bringing so many people into the team. It's like excitement, it's nervous because it's so much pressure. I'm like, okay, it's not even about me anymore. Like, it's not even about, oh, am I doing well? It's like, okay, these are a lot of people that I gotta make sure are doing well, you know? So it's it's pressure, but it's, it's oddly, I feel good about it. Like, I feel like I can do it. Hopefully they like me. I'm so nervous. Oh I feel so many emotions right now. I can't believe it's happening tomorrow. I've been waiting for this day. I mean, we still work with so many international researchers and translators, but so many of them live in the countries that they research in. They have settled, they have their roots there, and all of it has been long distance so far. And to finally have people that I'm gonna see every day and we're gonna work on the same things together is so exciting it's so exciting <laughs> is it exciting or is it is it mental breakdown <laughs> what is it it's so exciting and so scary at the same time because i don't want to let anyone down i don't want to let you guys down obviously and i don't want to let them down i want to make sure like i'm literally listening to leadership pods <laughs> this is definitely an arena that i have never been in before me in a position of like hey guys why don't we try this that's not me at all that's not me at all. That is you. <sighs> so I'm really It nervous. is you, okay? Yeah, I just want to say thank you. <laughs> That's all. And I'm so sad I didn't get the rest of the stuff to pack. I had this vision where they were going to come down and I was going to say, Welcome! And then they would see their little care package. <laughs> Step one, and I've already failed. <laughs> okay, so Stephanie's putting together a little care package. We have a little notebook a little Japanese notebook and then she has a little candle and then she has this is a little hook for the bags what is all this this here's a pen this is a highlighter Honey, that's so extra oh yeah nobody needs five pens oh yeah nope. listen I'm gonna give them you two okay you better calm down give them what I'm selling you I'm rehoming you did you see that TikTok of that woman rehoming her husband no how do I join that program I should write them a sweet message okay oh see this is the Problem. Friend Stephanie wants to draw a weenie. Professional Stephanie knows she cannot. So what do I do? I draw half of a weenie. <laughs> okay, no wee wee. What is what what does professional Stephanie write? Welcome to the <laughs> Wolfes comrades. It is a pleasure to co-work in the same spatial area as you wonderful talented people. I'm gonna write hey baby. <laughs> Shoes? <laughs> Tomorrow. I'm ready for my first day at work, guys. And I'm so nervous. And usually I get the nervous shits, right? My sh is not here. Uh oh. I'm so stressed out. Imagine they get here and I'm like, hey guys, welcome, professionalism. Ooh, yes. I gotta go take a big dump. I'll be right back. I wear trousers. Wow, oh businesswoman. Businesswoman, corporate business. OOTD. Corporate baddie. Day in my life as a corporate baddie. <laughs> One week later. Stephanie's getting a haircut. I'm a mouthful of keep up right now. So this is what I do. This is the toilet, okay? Every day I have to pee. I go like this. And I put it in my shirt. Because if I put it back here, it touches the toilet. It touches the <laughs> Have you ever touched it? Yeah. Ah, and then, then what? Went, and then I went, honey. So All of it is coming off. What are you going to do today? Just shave it. Just one down the middle. <laughs> so I can always have a middle part. And Stephanie's going to do it right there. So she's getting it from my Barbara. Barbara? Barbara. Your Barbara? My Barbara. Your Barbara. <gasps> what is that? Oh my god. Oh my god. What is that? What is that? Yeah, this house is falling apart, you guys. That looks like it's crackling. Oh, oh sh 
Yeah, comment below. What do you guys think is hiding in there? Maybe a monster or something. Why do you think it's true? We gotta call someone. Call who? A ghost monster? No, no. This is before. Yes. Yeah, because two tango is hard. Oh, two tango, he said. Can we not hear? He said, you're here, super tango, then at the back. I never brush it. You never brush it? You need to brush, babe. He said, wow. Wow. <laughs> I like the new hairstyle. How do you feel? I feel like my face is a rock. That's too long. Yeah.